Children, come, come. <laughs> You've arrived at just the right moment. I've been looking for you. Oh, what is it, Granny? Need any help? Oh, no, no. You've done so much for Leo Harbor already. I could hardly ask for more. In fact, my old friends and I have been putting our heads together to think of what sort of gift we might give you. A gift? Oh, child, 
You are so very modest. Uncommonly so, even. But you mustn't decline this gift. I simply won't allow it. When you traversed my old teapot in search of the cleansing bell, I heard your little friend mention that you often camp out in the wilds. That simply won't do. Especially since, I imagine, you still have a very long journey ahead of you. Fortunately, I have not yet grown so old as to see my subspace creation abilities atrophy. Oh, did my friends never mention that to you? Well then, it is a blessing we old folks once received from Rex Lapis. I will not go into too much detail, but subspace creation is the ability to create a small, autonomous pocket world. The teapot that you entered previously was a little trinket created using that ability. So, in the eyes of an Adeptus, creating a magic teapot world is just child's play, huh? Oh, indeed, the teapot is nothing to boast of. One such as myself must depart from this realm to create a world of one's own. Rex Lapis, on the other hand, moved mountains and seas. That is what one might call an exercise of true power. Huh. But that's enough nostalgia for now. The gift that I have prepared for you just requires a few final materials to add the finishing touch. That's right! Finding stuff's what we're good at, after all! Oh, settle down now, children. There's no need for you to go running hither and thither. <laughs> I have already found a fleet-footed youngster to prepare what I need. What's more, I doubt that you would know how to find the materials I am searching for. 
Some of them are very rare. Well, for starters, I require some shimmer soil from the banks of Dihua Marsh. Back in the day, it could only be found where the glazed lilies thrived most profusely. You would have to dig downward, following the roots of the glazed lilies. And if you were lucky enough, you just might find... But almost no one has been able to find shimmer soil in this manner since Dihua Marsh came to be the way it is. Even more difficult to find is Smaragdus Jadeite, which must be chiseled from the rock of the chasm. Or so it used to be. Ever since the Black Cliff Forge opened for business, they've slowly but surely stripped the mines all but completely bare of it. In any case, Smaragdus Jadeite is an adept eye treasure, and the adeptal power within is not something that most humans can withstand. Extended contact with it is, in fact, harmful to humans. Ah, <sighs> goodness knows if that child will succeed in finding these items. Well, since you're an Adeptus, Granny, the person you asked for... Hmm, yes. I suppose she does count as an Adeptus. She counts? How come there are so many Adepti in Liyue Harbor? We seem to bump into them all the time. It feels like even when you go out to eat, you could be sitting next to an Adeptus and never even know it. <laughs> Maybe so. Who can say? A fair few of my old friends are rather fond of mundane mortal life, after all. I'm back, Granny. Oh, I don't believe we've met. Ah, allow me to do the honors. This child here is Yen Fei. She's the one helping run some errands for me. Yen Fei, I believe you already heard of the Traveler and his traveling... Of course, who hasn't? Much has been written about you in the Millilith's records. You became one of Liyue's most wanted after the Millilith marked you as a suspect following the incident at the Rite of Dissension. After which, you fought off the Millilith at Julian before finally defeating an ancient god together with Granny and her associates, and subsequently being cleared of any and all suspicion by the Chising. <sighs> what a shame. A shame that we didn't meet sooner. If we had, well, I can't say that I would have been able to clear you of suspicion immediately, but it certainly would have been less, uh, embarrassing for you. Allow me to introduce myself once more. I'm Yenfei, a legal advisor. Got a legal problem? You can come right to me. Oh, yes, here's my business card. You'll find it has my contact details and office address. If you have an urgent issue, just leave me a note at this address. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, I offer a very generous discount. All right, Yenfei, all right. Let's get to the business at hand. I, you'll have to excuse Yanfei. She's always been like this, ever the talkative one when it comes to her own affairs. Paimo was gonna ask the same question. You seem really different from the ones we- An adeptus? Uh, I guess, kinda. My old man said he was one anyway. He mentioned that he once campaigned with Rex Lapis for a long old time, and then after that was all over, he went back and married my mom. They had me, and once I was all grown up, the two of them upped and left on a journey, leaving me with Granny here. Well, that's a bit casual for an Adeptus. Aren't you guys supposed to sign solemn contracts to protect Liyue Harbor and all that stuff? What do you- Well, my dad did say that he'd talked it through with Rex Lapis and that he was fine with it. Even contributed towards the wedding gift, apparently. Anyway, let's not dwell on that too much. So, Granny, I've gotten a hold of most of the stuff you asked for, except for Smaragdus Jadeite. I couldn't find any at all. The chasm's been sealed off, and there's just no way in. Couldn't secure any documentation either. <sighs> Looks like the Ministry of Civil Affairs is serious about keeping it strictly locked down. Is that so? Hmm. Yenfei, are you sure you can't find some other way? They have helped Liyue greatly, after all. I know, Granny, you've told me a thousand times already. Well, the chasm's definitely a no-go, but there's still a chance we can figure out some alternative me- Hmm. Ooh, that's a really thick book! Commercial consultancy. Or... 
Or... Snezhnaya? Ah! Found him! Krussel! A Snezhnayan merchant who once came to me with some legal queries on certain articles in the legal codices. If my memory serves, all of them had to do with rare ores. He mentioned that he was considering acquiring some Smaragdus Jadeite to make hairpins, and wanted to know if there were any legal ramifications that he should be aware of. Said he was planning to sell them in Snezhnaya. So, I guess I'll go look for him. With any luck, he'll have gotten his hands on some Smaragdus Jadeite, or might have an idea of where we can find some. Oh, you want to join me? I suppose that's no problem, but it's best if you just stand by and watch. If you try to get involved, you'll only risk placing yourself in legal jeopardy. Wow, an Adeptus imploring us to avoid incurring legal liability. Well, that's a first for sure. Best we be a little more careful than usual while... Mr. Crossel, how's business been? Oh, good, very good. All thanks to your advice, Miss Yanfei. What brings... <laughs> You're too kind. I was simply doing my job. Now, I believe... Uh, well, yes, as a matter of fact, uh, in the end I did acquire a small piece of Smaragdus Jade. Miss Yanfei, might I presume that you have an interest in the hairpins? I must apologize, I've already rented them out to a lady named Zhe Chiao. If you'd like to inspect them, you- Wait! Isn't Smaragdus Jadeite really rare? Aren't you worried about the hairpins getting damaged or- No, I'm not worried in the slightest, because I signed a contract with Miss Zhe Chiao before renting them to her. The contract makes it quite clear that if she loses or damages the item in question, she must compensate me for its full original value. In return, I included a clause that guarantees the Smaragdus Jadeite is genuine, with a penalty of ten times the item's value payable by me to Ms. Zhi Chiao in the event that it is shown to be a fake. Guaranteed genuine, with ten times the value payable if this claim is shown to be false? Yes, these terms are very clear indeed. Of course. This way, both the client and I have the assurance we need. To ensure fairness, each of us has retained an original copy of the con- In that case, might you know where Miss Zhe Chao lives? We'd like to pay- Oh, of course. She wrote her address down when we signed our contract. He Thanks a lot, Mr. Crossel. We oh, what about the pockets? Whatever shall I do? Y yes, that's me. Is there something I can help you? How do you do, Monsieur Chow? We understand from Miss. My associates and I are very interested in them. With the hairpins. I don't know how it could have happened. I always kept them right by my side, and I had. I spent so much money on them. If I have to pay their original value, there's no way I could come up with that amount of money on such. I. My family is in the ore business, too. 
but business has been suffering ever since we now have a backlog of paid up orders just sitting around. So we've been having to purchase some stock from other ore merchants to comp- A big banquet is coming up in a few days, and several ore merchants I know of will be there. I need this opportunity. That's what the hairpins were for, to- Well, to keep up appearances. But now that I've lost the hair- Ah, why does Paimon have a sudden strong sense of deja vu? Would you really? I sent a commission to the Adventurer's Guild, but I haven't- Hold on. Don't run off looking for the hairpins just yet. Mr. Chow. Huh? Well, I mean, sure, I have it right here. Let me see. That's right! Yanfei said she's a legal advisor to- True. Right. I finished reading the contract. The terms are very clear, and they do indeed stipulate that you must pay Mr. Crossell the original value of the hairpins as compensation. Furthermore, the contract also expressly states that the amount of compensation must take current market prices into a- And given the rarity of Smaragdus Jadeite, I fear that the final amount of- Even higher! Oh, no! Uh-oh. However... All of this is assuming that it is indeed genuine Smaragdus Jadeite that was inlaid in- Did you really have to pause before saying that part? Anyway, the hairpins are lost, so how exact- Whichever way you look at it, we've got to- Except that if we found the hairpins, there'd no longer be any need to check whether the Jadeite is- Uh... Please. Please. Uh, however much it is, I will have to pay it. My family are merchants, after all. Now that it's come to this, I really shouldn't keep Crossel in the dark any longer. I'll go- Yes, legally speaking, it seems this is the most sensible course of action. But before that, so hold on a moment, Mr. Chow. When you first touched the- What did I feel? Well, I remember that the je- My family has seen much jade pass through its hands in the past, so I- Hmm, smooth to the touch. No, it's nothing. I just need to re-examine a few things. Ah, Miss Yanfei, you've returned. With Miss Jichao and Tu- <laughs> You lost them! Are you- I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Mora! <laughs> Do you have any I- I- I just don't- <laughs> Forget it. Talking won't bring them back. Since Miss Yanfei is here- No problem. But before I can give an official estimate, I'll need to do a little market research. Ah, yes, and if I may just confirm, it was in fact genuine... Of course! Genuine article guaranteed, or I pay back ten times... All right, understood. I'll conduct some market research, and once I'm back, I'll provide an official assessment of the sum owed by Mr. Chow and Co... Thank you very much. <laughs> How could she lose my hairpins? She'd better pay every... Looks like I'll have to find some way to raise that... Please wait, Mr. Chow. I have... It's not convenient to speak here, so let's find somewhere that... Yenfei, what is this about? Are you... No. What I wanted to talk about is, there is a chance that the Orin laid on those hairpins may not be Smaragdus Jadeite after all. What do you mean? Are you implying that you already sneaked up? Obviously not. I'm no adventurer, let alone a member of the guild. I don't run thankless, time-consuming errands for a living. Let's just say I made some deductions. I don't know if Granny told you this. But Smaragdus Jadeite is found deep underground, and contains very concentrated... If mere mortals come into contact with it, well, they'll be sick in the best case. And in the worst case, they could even experience a dramatic change of personality. It most certainly would not be smooth to the touch. Mr. Chow, did you at any time feel unwell? No, not at all. 
I felt perfectly fine the whole time. Not even the slightest bit on. Hmm. Now that is strange. I noticed earlier that there were elemental traces in Mr. Crossell's. If I have deduced correctly, he may still have the Smaragdus Jadeite in his possession. If that's the case, we should go confront him. Absolutely not. If we were to confront him now, there's no way he would admit to it. Eventually, he would find some argument to compel us to leave. And then, he'd throw the Smaragdus Jadeite into the sea the moment we were gone. After that, he would simply insist that Mr. Chow pay up per the contract. He would lose nothing. Meanwhile, we would have to look under every stone in Liyue, hoping and praying that the hairpins do actually still exist somewhere in this world. So vivid that Paimon thinks it might be expe- Oh, it certainly is. I've seen my fair share of situations like this, and brute force methods are certainly one way of resolving them. Fortunately, I have far more elegant solutions at my disposal. I'll share them with you in due course. Well then, since you're so experienced in dealing with prob- Oh, that won't be a problem. But first, Mr. Chow. Huh? Does there have to be a contract for everything? Paimon can't even keep track. It feels like Yanfei is even more concerned with them than a certain someone else. These are my formal terms of engagement. Everything prior to now has just been pro bono advice. But for me to investigate any further, any work commissioned but not bound by a contract cannot be relied upon. I understand. Then I will be glad to place this matter into your capable hand. No problem. Just sign here, and I'll sign too. Okay. Now write your address here, and then sign on this page as well. And I'll also need your signatures on pages 5, 7, and on the very last page. Finally, if you could just use this ink pad to make a handprint over here. <sighs> this contract has so many pages! All right, that should do it. My fees are the same as always, and they're written in the contract. Have a look through and let me know if you have any questions. I've had a read through. Everything checks out. Well then, here's your copy of the contract. I will retain the other copy. Not for now, no. Despite how intractable this problem might sound, it will actually be quite straightforward to resolve once we've got some things squared away. I don't believe you have been part of an investigation like this before. In which case, hopefully this should be quite the experience. Miss Yunfei, I have to ask- Because, as it happens, I'm currently trying to acquire some Smaragdus Jadeite myself. I noticed strong traces of geo-energy around Mr. Crossel, so perhaps he had... Whether he actually made it into an item of jewelry or not is a separate matter. But either way, it's a lead. As long as we follow it, who knows? We might just be- Also, the idea of someone abusing the law to their advantage? But again, let's not dwell on this. Let's go to... Hmm... Where can we- f Ah! I've got it! Let's pay a visit to Chateau, the boss of the Jade Mystery. He's a professional when it comes to work- If Mr. Crossel had his ore worked on at all, Chateau would undoubtedly have been his first choice. Try your luck betting on Jade? Why, hello there, honored customers. Welcome to th Oh! It, it, it's you, Miss Yenfei. It. <sighs> no, nothing of the sort. Has a Snezhnayan merchant named Crossel in. A Snezhnayan. Hmm. I do remember that. He brought me a piece of ore. That was the first time I'd ever encountered it, so I had no way of telling if it was really Smaragdus Jadeite or not. But if a customer insists, far be it from me to contradict them. He was quite generous with his money, too, so I didn't give it too much thought. I processed the ore as per his request. Hmm. D uh, why, yes! It was my first time encountering this ore, after all, so I kept a few loose shavings to study myself later. Thank you, sir. Huh? If my eyes... 
don't deceive me. The cross sections and patterning suggest that these are Smaragdus nephrite shavings. Yes, it's not particularly rare, nor is it especially valuable. It's used to make jewelry all the time. I've heard it said that Smaragdus nephrite is in fact the outer layer of Smaragdus jadeite, though no one's ever proven it. A thin layer of separate- If you must see for yourself, try examining these shavings for traces of elemental energy. Smaragdus nephrite is an entirely ordinary ore, containing no elemental- Is that so? So, did you find anything? So they really are different! But wait, how come Jichao was able to tell what it was just by looking at the shards? That's- There's nothing special to it. It just so happens that I've come across a great many of these in my time. These two stones actually look very similar. Someone without a deep understanding of them would find it very difficult to- t There may be only a subtle difference for the casual viewer, but that translates to an astronomical difference in terms of the market price. And, I'm sure, a significant difference in the cost of having- Alright, let's focus up. We're going off on a tangent. But, never mind Shirto. Why wouldn't- Unusual actions have unusual reasons behind them. Let's take some of these shavings back to- Miss Yenfei? If you could just confirm for me once more, sir, Mr. Crossell did indeed claim- Uh, yes, that's right. I still have a record of the job with me, in fact. Um, here. It says quite clearly- Then I have no further questions. But could I borrow the processing record? Of course. Oh, I have my reasons. Ah, yes. Please, this document shall serve as si Hmm, yes. I see. I see. <laughs> I wouldn't say there's been an incident, just a minor issue. Thank you, sir. With this hard evidence to back us up, Crusoe will di On the contrary, this is far from sufficient to build a case. We need to find something a little more... If you want to make jewelry, you need a professional jewelsmith. Let me think. Jewelry. Jewelry. Aha! Got it! Singsy. She often helps people to find a jewelsmith. Let's go pay her a visit. Well, that was quick. How can you know so many people? Because lots of people come to me for legal advice. As you know, Liyue Harbor is the city of contracts. And contracts, well, I should say laws, are very important. But the amendments made by the Tianxuan to our laws are unnecessarily complicated. How can I put this? It just seems like they're hard to understand and imp as such, legal advisors like myself provide quite the popular service in- So you help them make sense of the law. But didn't you say that it's hard to understand and impossible to finish? Yes, well, that's no obstacle because I've memorized all the legal codices. You memorized it? <laughs> you sound surprised. Knowing the law inside out is a legal advisor's bread and butter, you know? Oh, this has nothing to do with being an adeptus. I just like reading things. Again, with that casual tone. Well, that's that then. Let's go look. Oh. What should I try this time? Miss Yenfei, it's you. Has something happened? Did the client from last time... Uh... Have no further trouble from then on? Yes, of course. I'm just here... Has a merchant by the name of Crossel asked you to put him in contact with the jewel smith? Crossel? Yes, I remember him. He's a merchant from Snezhnaya, no? The design of the hairpins that he gave me was quite intricate, so it took me some work to find someone who was up to the job. Eventually, I found an older jewelsmith who made them exactly according to his specification. This order was on hold for a very long time, and only completed quite recently, which is why I remember it. Doesn't seem like there's any evidence to be found here. Miss Inksy, I'd like for you to confirm for me once more. When Mr. Crossell commissioned you to find him a jewelsmith, did he or did he not assert that the material he presented... Yes, I'm sure of it. 
The hairpins were made using many expensive materials, and the asking price was quite high, so we had to put this transaction on record with the Ministry of Civil... Mr. Krosel wasn't very familiar with the necessary procedures, so I filed it on his... I also kept a copy for my own records. See for yourself. The item is called Smaragdus Jadeite Twin Phoenix Pins. The inlaid gemstone is recorded as Smaragdus Jadeite. The document... Thank you, Sinksy. Now... Sure. It isn't serving much purpose here anyway. I take... Nothing you need to worry about. Just a minor issue. I'll return your document at... Why is everyone's first reaction always to assume someone or something is in trouble? Hmm. I believe we have almost all the evidence we need. We just need to make one last trip. Let's go to Boo Boo Pharmacy to speak with Doc... The weirdo with the snake around his neck? What? Because... Only he can provide an authoritative statement confirming that Smaragdus Jadeite is harmful to the human. Once we have this final piece of evidence in our hands. Jewelry's out of stock, but we have some new items in. stock but we have some new items in <laughs> uh, join the adventurers guild you'll have a blast jewelry's out of stock but we have some new items in My, my, to what do I owe the pleasure? Though I'm afraid that if you're looking for our little Chi-Chi, she's out gathering herbs. And if it isn't Miss Yenfei as well, now that's an even rarer honor. What business brings you here, might I inquire? Some charlatans peddling ineffectual medicines again? No, no. I'm here this time to ask if you're familiar with Smaragdus Jadeite. Smaragdus Jadeite? Why, yes, there is some information about it included in the sixth commentary on the Seven Mountain Treatises. The Seven Mountain Treatises states that this substance springs forth from stone marrow within the mountains and will bring disaster to any mere mortals who touch it. It is abundant in elemental energy, so if someone without a vision is in contact with it for a prolonged period, best case scenario, they fall ill. Worst case scenario, they'll suffer great changes in personality and their illness will only ever get worse. Huh. Anyway, I'm sure you didn't come all this way just to chit-chat. Knowing you, Yenfei, and given the specific nature of your question, I suppose that you're about to ask me to write an official affidavit attesting to the pharmaceutical peculiarity. That is indeed the case. If you have- No trouble at all. It's just a single document. Won't take me a moment. I would mention, though, that you are not the only one who's developed a curiosity for Smaragdus. But after I gave him my reply, his expression shifted to one of remarkable disappointment. I wonder, Miss Yenfei. 
If you're pr- Ah, you needn't concern yourself about that, Dr. Baishu. Thank you for penning us that document. I'll make sure to compensate you and do- You're too kind. That Baishu guy is as weird Take as ever- Take care now. Is it just Paimon, or does it feel like he was fishing for something back there? Dr. Baiju's always been like that. Well, we have the evidence we need. Let's go find Mr. Crossel. Miss Yanfei, have you finished your investigation? I trust you will now be in a position to assess- Yes, my investigation is indeed concluded. I can now provide a final figure for- Wonderful. Well then- Of course. Mr. Crossel, you must pay Mr. Chow ten times the original transaction price- Sure. Wait, what? M me pay her? Surely there's- Not at all. According to my investigations and the material evidence that we've gathered, the substance claimed to be Smaragdus Jadeite that was inlaid within the Smaragdus Jadeite twin phoenix pins that you rented out to Mr. Chow was, in fact, Smaragdus Nephrite. Now, the contract states very clearly that ten times the price shall be paid should the article not be genuine. Accordingly, you are liable for this sum, which is payable to Mr. Chow- Material evidence? What material evidence? I spent a huge sum to obtain that Smaragdus Jadeite. Indeed. Only a testimony from an expert witness involved in the processing of the ore can serve as an authoritative assessment of whether it is genuine. Traveler, this is a processing record from the Jade Mystery, along with stone samples and an affidavit signed by the business owner, Chateau. Seriously? Even the boss there couldn't differentiate between Smaragdus Jadeite and Smaragdus Nephrite. How does this prove... In any case, Smaragdus Nephrite is the outer layer of Smaragdus Jadeite. So I had him cut away the Nephrite, he returned the valuable Jadeite core to me, and some Nephrite samples remain in the store. What am I missing? Th that's an unsub... Well, your claim that my ore is fake is just as unsubstantiated. Ugh. Looks like our first piece of evidence didn't... Hard evidence. Something legally binding. We have just the thing. Show him, Traveler. <laughs> this document proves that my hairpins are the real deal, doesn't it? This is the min- Our second piece of evidence- Hmm, you know, you could be right. Of course I'm right. All the evidence- Well, hang on a moment now, because I do recall one final piece- Traveler, would you do the honors? What? What's the- Smaragdus Jadeite springs forth from Stone Marrow within the mountains and will bring disaster to any mere- Sustained contact with Smaragdus Jadeite over a prolonged period will, in less serious cases, cause a mild malady, while in serious cases, the patient may suffer a dramatic change of personality and fall- Mr. Crossel, were you aware of these peculiar properties of- I- I had no idea. No idea, you say? Hmm, I'd guessed as much. But for you to have rented up, I'm afraid that this falls outside the scope of my work, but within that of- However, I'm sure that the Ministry will be relatively lenient, considering that, as you say, you were ignorant of the danger- Don't worry, Mr. Crossel. I will make sure that all the evidence- I trust that you'll give them your full cooperation and- What? Wait! What- Oh, so you knew? Oh, dear, Mr. Crossel. But if you knew of Smaragdus Jadeite's dick- Huh? No! Aren't actually inlaid with genuine Smaragdus Jadeite? You do understand, Mr. Crossel, that this means that you will have to pay Mr. Ch- Mr. Crossel, your answer- I- I- uh... Yep, he's seriously intimidating right now- I admit it. I confess. The ore I had in late on- But I'm a victim in all of this, too. I... But after receiving it and carrying it around for a few days, I started to feel extreme discomfort. I couldn't sleep a wink or eat a single bite. I- I went to Boo Boo Pharmacy to get myself checked out, only to discover that this sort of stone cannot be worn as jewelry. But how could I let all that m That's why I had another pair of hairpins made from Smaragdus Nephrite. 
I kept the real Smaragdus Jadeite in a specially made box. I was worried that someone would see through it, which is why I only dared to rent them out, not sell them. And then to top it all off, to... Exactly! If they weren't the real deal, why'd you... I... I didn't want to either, but when I purchased that Smaragdus Jadeite, some of my business partners found out. I knew they'd be watching closely to see how much I could... If word got out that I sold a pair of fake hairpins... All right, let's cut the appeals phase right there. I fail to see what bearing any of this has on your transaction with my client. According to the contract... Ten... ten times? Crozo looks like he could faint any second! As for me, according to my contract with Mr. Chow, 20% of that... 20%? That's as much as I spent on that smir- Um, there's no need. It's fine. Even if the Smaragdus Jadeite on those hairpins was fake, I still bear responsibility for losing them. M However, Mr. Crossel, since you have no use for that chunk of Smaragdus- What? But I- All right, then. This cursed rock's brought me enough grief as it is. Miss Yenfei, I'll turn the Smaragdus Jadeite over to you. I trust- Well, um, that's not- Quite how the rules say this should go. But thanks so much for your help this time. Oh, come on. No need to stand on ceremony. Now, if I may confirm this again, Mr. Chow. Hmm? Well then, that's good. Mr. Crossel, it seems that my client has no... Is... is that so? Actually, Mr. Cross, I could see from the hairpins you produce that you're very skilled in jewelry design. My family, on the other hand, works in the ore business, and we have a fair... If we could join forces, your jewelry designs and our choice ores, I... I, uh... Well, that's that. And we've got the Smaragdus Jadeite that Granny wants, too. All's well that ends well, eh? Exactly. Usually when someone tells us they've lost something, we end up searching all over the place for it. But this time, uh, even though the solution didn't involve actually finding the hairpins. The right solution depends on your perspective on the problem. The objective of my client, Mr. Chow, was to reduce her liability to pay compensation. So, rather than looking high and low for some hairpins, proving that the rented item was nowhere near worth what the vendor had claimed it to be was the more efficient solution. An adeptus. Speaking of, you took part in that battle, didn't you? In which case, you would have heard what Granny said. Liuai Harbor is now a city ruled by humans. The title of Adeptus means precious little to me compared to my job as a legal advisor. In any case, don't you think that the Liuai Harbor of today needs legal consultancy far more than it needs Adeptus? Paimon can think of someone who would definitely disagree with your reasoning. Well, since we got what we came for, it's time to pay Granny a visit. I bet she's been on tenterhooks for a while. Returned. How did it go? Were you able to find? Good, good. Then we. Well, if we're all set, Granny, I'll get going now. Got a ton of clients waiting for me back. Oh, you. 
All right, then. Go see to your business. Granny should be able... I'm off, then. Bye! Oh, yes, Traveler. Make sure you don't lose the business card. I've been looking into the laws of other nations as well. If you should ever bump into any trouble with the law, come find me directly. Regulars get discounts, too. Come now, child. Are you leaving or are you not? If you have no wish to leave, perhaps you'd like to help me clean my teeth. <laughs> I'm leaving! I'm leaving! <sighs> that child. Goodness knows where she learned to be so rambunctious. Her father was hardly so riotous or fond of talking nonsense back in the day when he stood beside... Ah, <sighs> indeed she is. Liu has changed. And the Adepti must also learn to change. Yan Fei might be overly garrulous, but she is also the most intimately acquainted with the city among... Ah, uh, Liu is not the same clay. All right, then. Let us speak of this no more. Back on topic. I believe that I still... Oh, Paimon's so excited! How's... Ha <laughs> ha It is but a single teapot. It shan't... There we go. This serenity pot is all yours. Hold it firmly. If you were to drop it, oh goodness, who knows what might happen. Take these blueprints with you as well. You'll need them if you wish to make your teapot a little more lively inside. Wait a minute, Granny. How exactly are we supposed to use this teapot? Oh, you needn't worry about that. I've already arranged for a certain little helper to await you within this teapot. She will explain everything you need to know. Can't 
do that. Uh, well, you're the one with the sword anyway. You d Still, why is it so empty here apart from that house? Oh, wait a second. What is that? Seems that we have a visitor. It's a huge finch! Excuse me, I am not a finch. I am a teapot spirit, and you... Um, hang on a... M oh, call me... I suppose you may call me... Tubby. So you're the little help... Madam Ping? Oh, you must mean Ping. Yes, she did summon me here. You may leave all matters regarding the up. Your journey may be far from over. But at least this way, you will not want for a comfortable place to sleep each night. Though it is the Adepti who create realms such as this, they generally do not have the time of day to attend to the banal matter of their maintenance. Thus, we teapot spirits were created to help guard their realms and manage their affairs. You may consider me a butler, if you will. Now, allow me to explain this realm to you. Have you any blueprints on you? Specifically, as long as you have a blueprint, you can refashion this realm. Blueprints? Oh, that's right! Granny handed us some when she gave us the teapot, didn't she? Let's... Yes, these are the blueprints I'm... Just commit the image of the objects to memory and prepare... Then simply release the thought from your mind and the object in the blueprint... Wow! Is that all it takes? Then... We could build a whole city! Mm, I doubt it. A golden-eyed adeptus explained this to me at some point. He said that even though subspace creation is a product of adeptal power, even that has its limits. This world is not a true one, after all. It provides merely a moment of brief respite from the mortal realm, not a means of escaping it in time. A golden-eyed adeptus? I hardly remember myself. What's more, I have never seen that adeptus again since. Well, let's not dwell on that. Have a look around. Best you get if there's anything... used to the place at the moment, but once you've materialized Maybe you're 
not used Maybe you're... When breaking new ground, laying foundations, and furnishing, I'll teach you more about this another day.
Maybe you are not used to If you ever
this is a peaceful neighborhood. neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> Huh! 
a smash! back and forth, and those that come across Lyra tend to stay a while, so it is where many things come to settle.
We should look for a new investment. Mora doesn't grow on trees. <sighs> it's raining. Fetch an umbrella for me, would you? <gasps>
The damned will sooner die again than lay a hand on me. Da 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 <laughs> Oh, the sun's out. When did that happen? It is something of a luxury, but I love listening to the rain from the courtyard. An assassin from our homeland? Or a fool who trespasses upon the waters of Chainsa? Coveting the shapes of the living, pure water can take on many forms. In this way, shall water deliver your punishment! Water, 
is its ability to take any shape. received. Come on! Focus! Speed of light! For Rex Magnus! <laughs> Next on the agenda... Without solid ground, terrestrial creatures become simply helpless. The power of water is its ability to take any shape. Treasures fails also to comprehend its horrors. when you lose your foothold. The power of water is its ability to take any shape. waters. Is that so much to ask for? As long as rain falls and rivers flow, water will exist forever. Thank you. 
standing around is making me so sleepy. Hey, do you know what? Uh, neither do I. I already forgot. State your business here. The Golden House is sacrosanct. In a trade war, the perfect hunter leaves no trace. State your business here. This opportunity is quite hard to come by. Well then, amuse me. Surrender is a valid option. I promise I'll be gentle. Passable effort. Don't waste my time. <laughs> Poor timing. A fine opportunity. <laughs> Try this. Nothing. You've made some progress. Give up. Passable Your life effort. is mine. Passable effort. Don't waste my time. Not bad, not bad. Let's dance. You've made some progress. Not bad. You've got a trigger. Show begins. Oh, 
Protect us.
your business here? I wonder when I'll be as tall as my big sister. business here. Everyone is working super hard. We should be too. State your business here. State your business here. 